Today I'm going to talk about one thing, one thing that I think Supercell needs to fix above all else in Brawl Stars right now. If it were the only thing that they brought in the next Brawl Stars update, I would be thrilled. Hello fellow Brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to talk about the one issue that Brawl Stars needs to fix. Talking about this, and this, and this. That's right guys, today we're going to talk about teaming in Solo Showdown. Now here are the topics for today's discussion, okay? First we're going to talk about why teaming is literally the worst part of Brawl Stars right now, not only for the current players, but also for the future of Brawl Stars. We're also going to talk about why Supercell has done nothing to fix teaming, despite their player base hating it, and some ideas on what can be done to fix it. And while we're doing this, I'm going to show you some gameplay from posts that I found on Reddit. Every gameplay video from teaming in Showdown that you're going to be seeing going on in the background is going to be posted within the past month so that you can can see that this is currently an issue. I also wanted this gameplay to show you guys that are in lower trophy ranges that don't see teaming a whole lot how truly awful it can be and what you can expect to see if Supercell does not fix this issue. Now before we start I think it's very important that I clarify three important ground rules here that are the foundation on this video. First is that I do not hate teamers. I hate teaming. And that is a very big difference. I do not condone making fun of or targeting players that are utilizing this easiest and best strategy to winning trophies in Showdown, even if I think that strategy is ruining the game mode. I do think the community should stand up against teaming, but it is ultimately Supercell's responsibility to fix any issues with their game that is responsible for creating a negative player experience. Second ground rule is that this is not a hate video towards Supercell. I am confident that they are the best people to come up with a solution to this issue because they are the ones that have come up with some of the most creative solutions to previous issues that they've had in their other games. I just waited for a long time for a fix to this issue and I think it's time that I I need to stop waiting and actually bring it up again. Third ground rule here, I'm not some ignorant noob that uh, is complaining about teaming because I can't adapt to the strategy. I am actually very experienced with teaming as I used to be a hardcore teamer over six months ago before I swore it off. I know all of the temporary excitement that comes from this social experiment. I am fully aware of the false depth that people think teaming brings to Showdown. I know the strategies, I know the emotions, I know the backstabbing and everything that there is to know about teaming in Showdown. I literally did a video guide on it. I'm here to tell you as an experienced teamer, ex-teamer, <laughs> that all of the temporary excitement of teaming actually ruins the long-term fun of the game. I'm also here to tell you that any depth that someone thinks teaming adds to Showdown is actually false and that teaming in reality removes the majority of strategy in Solo Showdown. I'm here to voice my opinion not only as someone who cares about the future of Brawl Stars as a player, but also because my YouTube channel, which is my career, depends on the success of Brawl Stars. Personally, I think it's actually pretty clear and obvious why teaming is such a bad thing for the future of Brawl Stars. Uh, but in case someone in Supercell sees this video, I think it's important for me to outline the reasons why allowing teaming to remain in Brawl Stars is not only bad for the future of Showdown, but also for the future of Brawl Stars as a game. First, teaming removes the strategic depth from Showdown. It leads to boring and repetitive gameplay. In competitive Showdown, <laughs> competitive Showdown, there are three strategies. The first and most rewarding trophy-wise is to team with other people and pick off other people that won't team with you or that you feel like aren't good fit to team with you until you have guaranteed that you will gain trophies and at that point then you can take each other out or whatever. The second and next best strategy is to hide and hope that the teamers don't find you before they find everybody else. And typically, you will still lose trophies doing this in competitive showdown, higher up in trophies, because teamers are very organized the higher that you climb up in trophies, and they will check every single bush until they've gotten rid of everybody else before turning on each other. The third is the worst strategy if you want to gain trophies, and that is to be an anti-teamer, where you make it your goal to win against teamers no matter what. Doing this, you will get a few lucky kills or skilled 
world wins. Like a lot of the replays that are going on here in the background, there's a reason why they were some of the most upvoted posts on Reddit. It is because it is not easy to beat teamers and everybody loves people that do it. But overall, you will lose trophies following this strategy. Unless you happen to be an outlier in your skill and that you can actually consistently beat teamers, which even some of the most skilled players in the game can't do that consistently because it's just unfair. Out of the three options of teaming, hiding, or fighting, the two best ones require way less skill than competitive showdown match where everybody actually truly plays the game mode solo. That means that if you want to climb trophies, you're going to have a very boring and repetitive grind, which is not fun or exciting and is not the kind of game mode that I want to play. Because let's be honest, when you download a game, you're never first thinking about how many trophies can you get. You're always thinking of, is this game going to be fun? And using the best two strategies to gain trophies is not fun. The second reason why allowing teaming to stay in the game is bad for the future of Brawl Stars is because of the negative emotions that it creates. If you decide not to team, you are going to get incredibly frustrated when you are not able to win or not able to do at least somewhat decently well because you didn't team. Ideally, a game will create a positive losing experience, and that means that when you lose, it's because you lost to somebody's skill, and you could actually see that skill and say, oh, I could have done this differently, or I could have done that differently. Losing to teaming is a negative losing experience because there's literally nothing that you could have done if they chose to not allow you into their cool kids group and team with you. Or if you refuse to team because you think that it's cheating and you don't like how it's ruining the game mode for you. It's also very frustrating if you do decide to team with somebody and they end up backstabbing you because you're like, hey, I thought we were bros and then you backstabbed me and even though you did join in with the teaming, the whole teaming thing, getting backstabbed is an incredibly frustrating experience because there's no way you could have known whether somebody actually was teaming with you or if they were actually going to be backstabbing you. Not only that, but if you are one that does team in order to go and then backstab people, when you take them out, it doesn't actually even give you a good sense of accomplishment for taking them out because Really, it just came down to the fact that they trusted you and then you betrayed them, as opposed to you actually outskilling them and taking them out, which at that point, that would be good. If you could outskill somebody and beat them because you were better at them in the game, then that would build a sense of accomplishment. And that sense of accomplishment is something that is no longer prevalent when teaming is allowed to stay in solo showdown. The third reason why allowing teaming to stay in solo showdown is bad for the game is because it literally creates a negative playing experience for the majority of all Brawl Stars players. Now, I recently ran a poll on my channel asking if solo showdown was people's favorite game mode. And with 40 thousand votes right now as I'm making this video 71% of the players said that showdown was their favorite game mode in Brawl Stars now some people might argue since uh, two-thirds of all players prefer solo showdown over any other game mode showdown is okay with uh, as it is with teamers well first of all you have to realize that if you read the comments you'll actually find that the biggest reason why people prefer solo showdown over other game modes is because they don't like to have to play with other players and rely on them when they don't know if they can they enjoy the solo aspect of showdown so we know the majority of players prefer showdown over all the other game modes but what do they prefer solo showdown to be like well I ran another poll with 20,000 votes on it asking if people would prefer showdown with or without teaming and 80 1% of the people responded that they would prefer solo showdown without teaming in it. 80%, that is an insane majority of the players. So you've got a game mode that the vast majority of the players consider their favorite mode. And when they first start playing the game, teaming doesn't exist because it's just not very prevalent there in lower trophies. But as they progress into the game, they find out that teaming is more and more prevalent the higher that they climb up in trophies. But since the majority of the players dislike teaming in Showdown, they think it's unfair, they think it's not fun, they think it is boring and repetitive, that leads to people disliking the game mode that they love the most. And that is a serious problem because they will uninstall it and stop playing the game. So why do I care about this so much, right? 
I mean, this is one of the most passionate videos that I have made in a long time. I mean, and it is just, just a game, right? Absolutely, for most people, this is just a game that you should try to get some enjoyment out of. But as somebody who is creating YouTube content for Brawl Stars full time, which it is my primary source of income, Brawl Stars is much more than just a game. The welfare of my family depends on the success of Brawl Stars' future, and it depends on a large player base playing Brawl Stars for a long period of time so that they will then watch my videos. All these things that teaming does, but removing strategic death, causing negative emotions, creating a negative player experience, it all leads to a decrease in player retention. And I know that that is a very serious topic that Supercell really does care about. Now, as someone who is passionate about the success of Brawl Stars, I have done more than anyone else to try and put an end to teaming in Brawl Stars. Global players won't know this, but over half a year ago, I organized a massive initiative to try and put an end to teaming in Showdown. It was called the Stop the Spin Initiative. I gathered over 20 content creators with millions of combined subscribers from many different countries that spoke very many different languages to try and spread this initiative worldwide. I got 70 of the top clubs to encourage their players to stop teaming in Showdown, and even Supercell released a few social media posts that brought people's attention to the Stop the Spin initiative. It exploded on Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, so that everyone in the world had at least an opportunity to stop the spin. It took an immense amount of time on my own part, as well as efforts and time from many others as well. And Guys, it did, in fact, make teaming in Solo Showdown much, much better. It did decrease the amount of teaming almost immediately, but it still existed, especially the higher you went in trophies. And as more time went on, more and more people gave up their pledge and went back to teaming in Showdown because it is the easiest and best strategy if you want to win. Eventually, Brawl Stars was released globally, and since then, teaming has gotten worse and worse, and now, most competitive players won't even play Solo Showdown because teaming is so bad there. It's no longer fun, and a, and a lot of competitive players consider it a waste of a game mode because of it. The community has already made their own push to stop teaming in Showdown. If teaming is going to be removed from Brawl Stars, it has to come from Supercell. They either have to make it a bannable offense or they have to make a change to the game so that it will no longer become the most effective strategy. If they do not do this, it will lead to a decreased player base and it will kill off player attention, leading to a less successful game than Brawl Stars could be. When people first started doing the spin, it was kind of like a funny thing to try, but the majority of the community was against it, okay? In fact, massive club organizations actually kicked people from their clubs from teaming, and for good reason. Many of people felt that it was morally wrong. It felt like cheating. Oh wait, it's called Solo Showdown. <laughs> it is cheating. It wasn't until Supercell officially said that they were not going to ban players for teaming in Showdown that the strategy blew up to be what it is today. But that does not necessarily mean that Supercell is okay with it being the strategy in Showdown. In fact, the team has still been a little bit divided on the subject since it first came to light, which is something I hope this video helps to change. But I think the biggest reason why Supercell has not done anything to fix teaming is because it is a very very difficult problem to fix in a natural way. Adding bans requires a large team of people to actually go through each claim and determine if someone was actually teaming or not. Supercell is a very small company and so this doesn't seem like the most viable option. And coming up with the right change to make teaming discouraged naturally in the game is a really tough thing to come up with. I have spent hours and days arguably even months thinking about it. But just because it's hard does not mean that it should not be done. I think now is the time for Supercell to make a big change to Showdown so that teaming is no longer the most viable and best option. If anyone can fix it, it's Supercell, guys. I think that if they can't come up with a solution to fix teaming in Solo Showdown, they should implement a report and ban system into the game. I'm not talking about permabanning anybody, guys. It could start with a one-day ban from the game for teaming in Showdown and then progress to a three-day ban, maybe even a week ban, but nothing beyond that unless somebody is, like, seriously abusing teaming in Showdown. Now, before you call me crazy for suggesting a ban for teaming in Showdown, teaming is a totally 
bannable offense if anybody does something like this in other similar games to Showdown like PUBG or Fortnite. They put duos and squads in those games so that people could play the way that they want to if they do prefer to play with a team. But if somebody is reported as teaming in their solo mode and it turns out to actually be legit, they will get banned. Now this might be difficult for Supercell to implement at first, but if people start getting like a day ban or a three day ban or whatever for teaming in Showdown, people will quickly stop teaming and then the problem will start to die down and become a lot less prevalent. The only reason why it is so prevalent is because it's so widely accepted right now. Now I know that this will take up some time and some resources from Supercell, but if it really is that big of an issue, then they can absolutely pay a third party to try and take care of the, that situation for them. After all guys, they are very passionate about making Brawl Stars the best game that it possibly can be. And I think that a solo showdown without teaming in it at all truly is the best for the game. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, I would ask that you help to try and keep the Stop the Spin initiative live wherever you can on social media, wherever you think that Supercell will see it on Twitter, Instagram, other YouTubers' channels, and whatever else you can think of to try and encourage Supercell to make a change to get rid of teaming. As always, guys, I want to know what you think about teaming in Solo Showdown, so please drop a comment in the section below letting me know your thoughts, as well as if you have any other ideas on how to try and remove teaming from the game. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Karlstein ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.